In today's post-Weinstein era where some bad men are being called out and yet still rarely punished, there's value in seeing an extreme feminist revenge fantasy play out on screen. AMC's Dietland does all of that and so much more. Something is happening. Around here, you start looking like somebody's grandmother, you're out. As women, we're so often told to contain our anger, to keep it small, to make it palatable. This show says fuck all of that. Dietland straddles two stories. One about a plus size writer named Plum Kettle who's living her life in the hypothetical. And the other about a fringe female vigilante group named Jennifer. The show is based on a novel of the same name, which was published in 2015. Filming on the show began just before the first Harvey Weinstein allegations were made public. So Marty Noxon ended up creating this feminist show against a backdrop of a national dialogue about sexual harassment and assault. And let's be real. Women know that sexual harassment and assault happen. Most of us have experienced these things in our daily lives. The only difference is now people are actually listening. I spoke to the stars and the creator of the show and they agree. People have said to me, like, what, what were you, pr how did you know? Like, and I'm like, I'm alive and <laughs> I've been paying attention. It kind of feels like it's about time. Yeah. When people are like, it's a fresh take. I'm like, no, it's, I, this is the world I live in. Like, <laughs> people just aren't paying attention. I think there's power in the idea that we, we see you. <laughs> we're on, we get it. In Dietland, we see the repercussions of this moment play out in the most extreme way. I mean, men's bodies are literally being thrown off of bridges and into the city streets. Two more men dropped across New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Pennsylvania, bringing the possible total to seven victims. Of course, we're not advocating violence, but as someone who reported on Terry Richardson's alleged abuses, there is something about watching a photographer dressed just like Richardson being held accountable. Missing fashion photographer Malik Ferguson was found dead today. Witnesses say his body fell out of the sky. In real life, we're living in this odd in-between moment, kind of like Plum is, where we're talking about sexual assault and harassment, but we haven't quite zeroed in on where we go from here, since apparently stop treating women this way is just too difficult. I say enough. Time to change the game. The what if of Dietland allows women to explore these questions from the safety of our couches. I think that it just made us all feel even more validated that the time was right for this story. It was funny that people would say, do you think it'll still be relevant? <laughs> and I'd be like, um, yeah. Weirdly, I think like an entire history of oppression is just not gonna like, boom, snap at you. <laughs> like, like I mean, the dialogue's you know, just started. The other thing Dietland really explores is this link between body shaming and rape culture. In both situations, women's bodies are treated as objects, meant to be perfected and used by others. Marty Noxon wanted to make this link explicitly clear. When I read the book, there was this moment when I'm like, why don't we fight back more? Like, I've spent so much of my life feeling unsafe. And even buying into like, if I could only look a certain way, I would be more safe, which doesn't make any sense. And something about the book finally made me go like, yeah, I should, I, I have a right to fight back. I think it's imperative for people like me and all of us to keep pushing that conversation forward and making sure that we don't just drift back to our comfort zone, which is oppression. <laughs> you are a woman and you should decorate yourself however it pleases you. The utility of a show like Dietland is that it keeps these conversations going. It centers angry, complicated, interesting women and pushes those of us watching to center ourselves right here, right now. Because so many of us are also angry and interesting and complicated. And our lives started the day we were born, not someday in the future when we lose 10 pounds.